What up my bitch ass goats? <laughs> Last couple of weeks have been stressful. We moved. We're still in Nashville, but our apartment, we, we've been going through this mold fiasco for the last month. And I got that whole story to tell you all about. I'll shave soon. I'm kind of, this is an experiment. I don't know if I can pull this off actually. <laughs> There's this really good comic strip that's like how addiction works. And it's the guy's in his house and everything's burning around him. And he, his thought bubble is like, everything's fine in my life. And then, and it says addic addiction and then sobriety on the next slide. He's sober, but everything's clean and beautiful in his house, but in his thought bubble, nothing feels fine. I don't know if I explained that right. <laughs> Been doing a lot of soul searching the last couple of weeks, as I do. I think the biggest thing that I've taken from therapy, personally, learning to communicate and talk it out. It does something, I don't know why, but it, you just feel so much better after talking about things and getting it out in the open and out of your head. There's something healing about it, I don't know why, but it's true that you don't need depression or anxiety to benefit from therapy. Seeking therapy is actually a sign of strength and self-awareness. This video is brought to you by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is a platform where therapists and clients can communicate effectively and get the most out of therapy. There's a journal inside the platform for personal reflection, and there are group sessions on a number of available topics every single day. They carefully make sure that therapists on the platform are well qualified, and they got a great customer support team to help you with any questions you have. With over 7,000 reviews and a 4.5 rating on Trustpilot, BetterHelp is a platform Platform you can trust. If you're struggling and you think you'd benefit from a therapy session, click the link in the description or go to betterhelp.com slash and get 10% off your first month of therapy. Thank you. Here's the video. So for the last couple years, Carly's been sick, blowing her nose all day, every day, um, sinus issues. And when we first moved to Nashville, this started happening about three months after we moved to Nashville. And we just figured it was allergies and she just had to get used to the allergies in Nashville. So she started going to the doctor, getting these allergy shots, like once a week, these like medical grade allergy shots. And then six months later, kept getting worse and she went to the doctor again and she had polyps. Polyps up all in her sinuses or something, I don't know. So she had to have surgery to remove the polyps. So then she's recovering from that, another year goes by. We go out of town. We come back and we open the door to our apartment and our guests notice that there's kind of a musty smell. And I noticed it too, but I never, I've never had symptoms or anything like that. And so mold started to pop in everyone's heads. Like what if it's mold? <laughs> and I, I was very reluctant. I was like, what? Like, Cause I've heard it's like, it can be a scam, you know, like the, the mold guy comes out and he tells you, you have mold and then you, you shell out 1200 bucks for the remediation of the mold that may or may not have even been there. So I, I was like hypercritical the whole time. Well, at first, um, so we get this like $8 Amazon test. It's like this potato starch thing in a, petri dish thing and we you know you place it anywhere in your apartment and the air is supposed to show you the results except no yeah we didn't do it right because <laughs> you're supposed to mail it in and then they test the type of mold we didn't do that but there was a whole bunch of after a few days you know some uh, growth started happening in the petri dish <laughs> and so everyone's now freaking out like oh you got to get out of there uh, whatever and I'm like okay like so when we did that we went to our landlord we asked if we could get a real official mold test and she said those eight dollar tests aren't accurate whatever it's, you probably don't have mold we can do it but if we don't find mold we have to charge you 400 bucks and we were like all right fine <clears throat> so the guy comes that our landlord hired and he's he spends like a couple hours in our apartment doing all the testing. I'm asking him all these questions if he thinks there's mold and he's like, I can't tell you that you're, because I'm, your landlord's my client and I can't, it's a secretive, like I can't tell you right now or whatever. 
So we're like, okay. And then, <laughs> so after he leaves and a few days go by, um, we call our landlord and she's like, oh yeah, um, what did she say? She was really vague about it. She was like, well, we don't have a mold report right now, but we are gonna change the sink and the, the leaking in the sink in the kitchen and change some things in the air conditioning, I don't know. And so we're like, okay, uh, but is there mold? And she, she's like, well, I can't say right now or something. She was really vague about it. So now we're like, okay, well, this is shitty. Like, so then we call our renter's insurance and they immediately put us up in a hotel without any, like, all we had to say was we had mold. And then, then we're in the hotel and it's, it's like limbo. We don't know what we're doing now. And, <laughs> <laughs> and we um, were calling the insurance like can you get the mold report from our landlord and they're like yeah we called them they won't give it to us blah 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 and our landlord's like we it's our right to keep it or whatever and so now we're like okay do we like get a lawyer now or like what do we because like over the last couple of years and and meanwhile Carly says she feels a lot better outside of the apartment her sinuses start to clear up as we're staying in the hotel so that was reason enough for me to move, whether we had mold or not, you know? <clears throat> but we had just signed a new lease for another year at this moldy apartment that we've been at for two and a half years. So we're calling the landlord, they're not giving us the mold report. We're calling uh, insurance and they're not calling us back. We're just in limbo <laughs> in this hotel at the Hyatt, like a couple of miles from our moldy apartment. Nothing really happens for like 10, it was like 10 or 12 days at this hotel. We, after 10 or 12 days at this hotel, we are kicked out of it because the insurance can't get the mold report from our landlord. So we go back to our moldy apartment. Carly's wearing a face mask the whole time. We're blasting our fans and air, air filters and... <laughs> so after being in the dark for so long, we finally got our own mold guy. It was like 350 you know did the whole spiel thing and whatever testing the air and he, he's like here come here and he showed me the air conditioning something inside the air and it looked terrible like he's just like yeah that's not supposed to look like that that's that's awful can i i would really love to talk to your landlord then after he leaves a couple days go by he he sends us a big mold report with all the different kinds of molds <laughs> species in our apartment and so then we email that to our renter's insurance um, we emailed our landlord and said we're moving this is our date we're leaving and they they sent back sure um, you just signed this termination of thing termination lease thing and we were about to sign it we were so close to signing it but it, it said, it could, because it was waiving the termination fee, which would have been like $2,600 or something, you know, which is like a month and a half rent or whatever. Um, and we would have been clean just to go out of there and put this all behind us, just to leave and put this all behind us. We were ready. We we're about to sign it. But then it says all this stuff like, you cannot come after us legally blah 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 um you cannot talk about this legally you know and so after showing it to friends and family whatever we just decided not to sign it <laughs> and uh we left um a couple weeks ago so then we emailed and it looks like they didn't they don't care if we signed it or not <laughs> but yeah that's the mold story I, I was, as does this does anyone out there relate to this at all has anyone had this kind of fiasco in their life fiasco enterprises as my dad would say Carly feels a lot much better at our new place. It's a much newer place um, It's like three miles south from where we were It was like so noisy and trafficy, but now we're like in this Really Zen I'm in I like my front yard here like a football field away from my place. It's it's awesome the dogs love it. I'll show you more later. So yeah, but 
does anyone can anyone share their experience with this especially if you're a lawyer or a doctor do you have you had have you ever had any patients or clients related to mold i'd love to hear your story in the comments i honestly mean it that this time sometimes i kind of just say well, comment something you know <laughs> but i really actually will read the comments <laughs> hard and good ow <sighs> I'm 99% sure we did have mold and it was affecting Carly's health. Um, but it's really gray. It's really gray because some people just aren't allergic to molds, types of mold. Um, Please uh, take some toast and like take the, the, the duvet off the like button's bed and like crinkle all the like crumbs toast on the beds, sheets. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Billy. Bonnie. Yeah. You like your little poor Bonnie. Billy, you are so beautiful. You're my baby angel, Billy. Yes, you are so beautiful.